um, so far um, we've received about one car donated per month since the program has been running so and uh, the donations have ranged somewhere between fifty to hundred dollars per car donated well we have this old car since 1976 and it's been in the garage here since 1990 and it's Instead of dumping it, we we're going to be able to donate it for a charity receipt to the Heart and Stroke Foundation. The Charity Car Program has actually been a very good program for the auto recyclers and also for the charities. Um, donors can basically go on and peruse our website and find a charity of their choice and donate their vehicle and know that it's going to get environmentally responsibly um, recycled and um, really that's key and at the end of the day the charity gets a few bucks for their vehicle and the donor gets a tax receipt. important for us to get out all the antifreeze, all the oil, all the transmission fluid and so forth. We also extract all of the Freon. It's, a, it's an elaborate process. It basically confines all of the fluids in, into a, a segregated area so they don't leak out into the environment. There are some issues with vehicles such as seat foam and stuff that is considered ASR, automotive shredder residue, that's going to wind up in a landfill site. We do our part to make sure that all fluids are recycled and any of the metal is going to wind up in the shredding operation so that's going to be recycled. Uh, they will be ensured that the charities will get the full value of the uh, disposal and that the vehicles will be disposed of in an environmentally safe manner. They'll be doing a very good socially responsible thing to do, uh, by disposing of these vehicles in this manner. <laughs>